Duffy. You know, I think I figured out why Dwight stopped by. <laughs> Is that right? Did I see you guys in, like, the gossip thingy? No, 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 no. No? No. But thank you very much for having me on your first show of the year. Oh, well, thank I you. i got to tell you, you know, I've always really dreamed of coming on The Tonight Show and promoting a movie I was really proud of. Oh, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber isn't it, but I'll keep coming back. Oh, yeah. Wait till I get one. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, thanks for changing the subject so quickly there right now. You know, I <laughs> did bring you a present. You brought me a gift. Yes, I did. And I, I yeah. saw this. They can put bring, this out here. Can we pull this out here? Pull this out. All right, what is now, it? I don't know if anyone knows this, but Jay Leno rides Harleys all the time. He's a bike. very, he's a very busy guy. And so what? Um, I kept thinking I'm going to do your show. I wanted to bring you a little gift. So I called up my friend Sydney and Billy Bob, and we were up all night, and we made you what is the it? both hands on the handlebar hot dog holder. So when you're riding your motorcycle, oh, you, you can this. keep both hands on hot dogs. Oh, I see. So both you... hands on the handlebar, eat your hot dogs. I was concerned, so I didn't know if they made harmonica holders as big as God made your head, but I think... Oh, uh, I see, and then you... Uh, uh, see, you have your condiments, your little right. travel kit. Oh, I see. Well, that, well that's very, very kind of you. There Thank you go. So you nice. can well, thank, you. thank you. I will, I will try that out on the way home tonight. All then. right, good. Take it's keeping the hot dog warm. You're still working on that part. Yeah, yeah we haven't perfected very that. Nice. Then, now, I also heard that Luciano Pavarotti was going to be on the show. Yeah, so did I. I'm a huge fan. Right, here we all did, right? So I made him, I'm figuring, one of the world's greatest tenors. Is this for him? He's got to keep his mind on his music, but to keep that bulk, he's got to eat. So we made him, Billy Bob and Sydney, made him a corn dog necklace. So he could just wear it on his, he could just keep oh, his mind on music. Now I'm thinking, the poor guy got his hat. Maybe we should auction this off. This is built for Pavarotti, obviously a work of art. So I was yeah. wondering if you could auction this off. We too. could probably auction it off. We sure, got twenty dollars sure. for that hat. I know Italian people often eat corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll, you can try it on. Here, hey, Tell give them, it to the guy with the hat. It? Give it to the guy who gave the hat. There you go, sir. There you go. No, no, we've chillaxed it so he doesn't get the oil. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. You can go ahead here to wear it. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Spreading joy everywhere we go. So, did you have a nice holiday? I had a great holiday. A really nice yeah, new yeah. year. Yeah. Did really you good. cook or do you don't do, no, are you? Well, I cooked a turkey yesterday. And it was my first turkey. And I was kind of concerned because my mom always, you know, she's always freaking out about cooking the turkey. But I just put it in the oven. You don't fiddle with it. There you go. Don't the fiddle, just put it in the oven? Just put it in the oven, come out, it was perfect. My mom makes this turkey, and it came out like turkey jerky this Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. And my sister, Kate, we're all a bunch of big Weisenheimers at the dinner table. And we're, I was cracking a joke, and my sister, Kate, who was pregnant, started to laugh, and she started to choke on the turkey. So yeah. my mom had to give her the Heimlich maneuver, and this masticated turkey projectile came out of my sister's throat, over my head, and hit the mirror right at the same oh. giving dining room table. <laughs> what a lovely family gathering. Yeah, no, it's kind of funny. <laughs> you know, nothing really says the spirit of Christmas more than... Then, yeah, then the Heimlich maneuver. No, it's pretty good. Choking. But that's serious. That was, that was pretty good of your mom to know right away to, to mm -hmm. do that, you know. It's funny, because I have this crush on this kind of corpulent man, and I always had this fantasy of us ha having dinner at, like, Peter Luger's, and he's eating a steak, like, as big as my head, and I tell him a little joke, and he starts to laugh, and I was like, uh, uh, and he starts to choke, so I have to give him the Heimlich maneuver, and then he falls in love with me because I saved his life. So, like, this fantasy progresses where I take him to, like, Howard Johnson, because I've never met anybody who has eaten a clam roll without choking. So I figured then I'll just keep taking them there, so then I'll just be putty in my hands. That's an interesting fantasy. You know, I, and again, I, I, I don't think I've even seen that one in Cosmo, choking mm. men and saving choking. This guy Heimlich, I mean, you know, I say I want to make the duff maneuver, because Heimlich gets all the play. He has the what poster. What actually? Well, I was thinking <laughs> that when your eyelids flip up backwards, like when you're water skiing or... Uh, you know, when your eyelids flip backwards, the simple motion of just turning them right back down could be the duff maneuver. So maybe when I come back, I'll have a little poster and I want to have, have a chart. I want to have that right next to the Heimlich maneuver. I want to have the duff maneuver. I think, you know, <laughs> he's just getting all the plays. A lot of room to move in there on <laughs> the material. Are you, are you accident prone? Do you have many? Yeah, I mean, very accident prone. Really? Mm-hmm. I've broken both legs, both arms, both elbows, one kneecap. I stab, I broke my elbow. And then it was around Halloween, I was carving a pumpkin, and I accidentally stabbed myself through the cast. Ah. So ah. I'd just been there to get my elbow set, and I had a big X-Acto knife coming out of the soft cast. Ah. So I had to get the cast off, they stitched me up, 
So I'm back in the cast with the stitches, and then I was doing, I'm left-handed, I do everything with my right hand. So while I was doing things with my right hand, I wound up jamming all my fingers. So my two arms were like James Conn's feet in misery. I couldn't do anything. Oh, so I had to like get on the phone, I live by myself, dial the phone with my tongue, and I don't know, I don't know what to do. Yeah, that, move. that sounds to me like a new yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you break both legs? Do you owe money or what? No, no, work? no. And my family's in the garbage business. I should know better. No, um, I slipped <laughs> on a banana peel once. Slipped on a banana peel? You know, something, that's something I've seen in movies. I've never actually heard of anyone in I real life. I slipped on two banana peels. One really? to the Feast of San Gennaro. I didn't it's break the anything. The Feast of San Gennaro? <laughs> over. I slipped on a banana peel, hit my head in the curb, knocked myself unconscious. I woke up at the Feast of Where the heck am I? I mean, it was, it was really scary. And the second time, I, uh, I just broke one of my kneecaps. But it's been really tough. And then, like, when I do a movie, like, weird things happen. Like, I was, I was working on a film, and I was sitting in the makeup chair, and someone went over to give me a kiss. And it was like one of those Hollywood air kisses. And they oh, just went, it went <laughs> right into my eardrum, ruptured my tympanic membrane. <laughs> he kept saying, how are you doing? I'm like, better. You better get me a new tympanic membrane. <laughs> I couldn't hear. I lost all my hearing, had negative pressure in my ear. And then my dentist filed my teeth too sharp. I could gnaw through solid steel. Really? I <laughs> because I usually... Actually, actually, we're out of time. We're out of time. Well, let's do more right after this. Be right back with it. Gnaw through solid steel. I think they were too sharp.